Yes, um, I know Jalen's kind of taken the lead offensively the last couple games. Um, I, I know the other day we talked to him and he said he's more of a pass first guy and, and just kind of, you know, wasn't, I guess, used to taking that lead. I'm paraphrasing, but um, just what have you guys kind of seen from him the last couple weeks and, and last couple games as far as that? Uh, just Jay Will, just being Jay Will. Um, he sees his opportunities. Uh, he has open looks and he takes those open shots. So he's just really just playing to the strength of his game. Well, he's been great. Um, he's been doing everything coach asked him to do. Um, he's been leading the team in a lot of categories. Um, he's been the X factor of this team. Uh, a lot of guys don't see it. A lot of coaches don't see it, but um, he's been the X factor for sure. And um, he's been doing what he's supposed to do and, you know, helping the team out in so many different ways. Bruce, uh, for either of you guys, Bruce just talked about a little bit about how um, Mitch and I maybe having a couple quieter games these past two and you guys have still been able to win. What that says about you, what do you guys think that, that says about your team? Uh, that we you know it's not just one or two people. Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of weapons on our team. Uh, we got great depth, so at any any given time, any night, uh, somebody else can be the you know, scoring leader and lead us in the categories. Mark, what have you guys been doing well to be more consistent in SEC play than you were at stretches in pre-conference? Um, well, a lot of people uh, was was seeing that we were shooting the ball pretty well uh, from the three-point you know range, and you know we improved on that a lot. You know, actually taking better shots. Um, Cause we took a lot of bad shots, you know, starting the season, but now um, we're picking up on our roles and seeing what guys can take, what shots and guys, um, what shots guys can't take. So um, I think we have improved on that a lot. Also, um, rebounding, um, we didn't start boxing out more, um, pushing in the transition, and things and start opening up for our offense. Go ahead. Uh, I guess kind of following up on the the three-point success. I know it's been really good the last couple games, but was it really largely just the decision-making that, that a lot of that boiled down to with, I guess, kind of the lack of success early on, or I guess just, it just, I guess, kind of what were all the parts of, of, of looking at, you know, improving the three-point shooting? Oh, yeah. Um, decision-making was, was definitely in the mix of, of bad shots and, you know, taking bad three-pointers, one-on-one three-pointers and stuff like that. But, you know, as the season started, you know, going on and on, um, we started realizing what's good shots, what's what's bad shots, and that really helped us as a team because when you take bad shots, um, on the other end it'd be a dunk or made a basket in transition. So um, that was one of the things we emphasize and practice on film, and coach always talked to us about those type of things. Schultz, uh, kind of for both of you guys, how's it how's it feel to hold a team that you know is pretty good offensively to 49 points? Especially on their home court, and would you rather do that, hold somebody under fifty, or score a hundred? Uh, rather, I rather hold hold them under fifty, um, every, any given night. So, but I mean, it, it speaks tremendously to the defensive effort and the, the concentration we've uh, focused on the last last couple games in the SEC. Just talking, being over communicative on uh, defense, and uh, you know, just boxing out and uh, guys making plays, not just playing defense, just play defense, trying to make plays. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Al, um, Bruce mentioned that uh, Gigi Jackson plays some three. What's it, what's going to be like going up against a guy with that size, that, that type of talent? I don't know. Gigi's from South Carolina. I don't know. Sorry. He's a freshman. He's a freshman. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. Okay. Mark? I wanted to ask Al a little about uh, your rebounding lately. Looks like you're really taking a lot of pride in doing that. You made a big effort to get on board. Yeah, I mean, coach, uh, coach been stressing it to me lately. Uh, Cause earlier in the season, I would just turn, you know, turn, and uh, we have a lot of guys, guys going boxing out and stuff. So now he he's made it clear to me that uh, you know, Janai's gonna box out his guy to five. So we boxed out, but you know, somebody gonna be running free. So he just he's been stressing to me to just clean up the boards, uh, get those loose rebounds and the ones, the, the tough ones that are hanging in there. You think that's the reason you guys aren't giving up nearly as many second chance points the last four or five games? Yeah, definitely. Because uh, you know you, you can't just play defense. You got to end the possession somehow. So those those balls flying in there and stuff, you got to uh, secure those.
but we can push it on the break. Schultz, what was the deal with uh, Wendell's headband last night? <laughs> he got the uh, the twist, so he, he trying to, I don't know. I guess he just wanted the headband on to keep the twist uh, from swinging this up out, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have any um, advice on keeping hair out? Yeah, he's trying to keep it hair out, but it worked for him, so. Hey, I guess he need to wear it every game. Yeah, he got to wear the twist in the head, man, for real, though. I swear every time he wear the, the twist, yeah. you know, the he twist? going off. When you wear the twist, he, he going off. Oh, no okay. Yeah. But when he got the hair out, you know, he kind of like, you know, calm a little bit. When he got the twist, I swear he going with 20 every game. <laughs> <laughs> you guys good? Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay.